oak species are, are the matrix species here in the area. This is the main food source for wildlife throughout the food web. It kind of starts with, with acorns. We've already pretty much lost our mature ash trees, the American chestnuts we've lost. So to have another attack, it's extremely concerning to have a pathogen devastating a species like the oak species. Oak wilt is one of the most lethal oak tree diseases. A fungal infection transmitted through damaged bark or wounds in trees, oak wilt kills hundreds of thousands of oaks a year. While natural resources staff try to combat this threat, they're battling this disease from all directions. The oak wilt fungus can be spread to healthy trees both above and below ground. Sap-sucking beetles attracted to wounded trees and oak wilt sporomats can transmit the spores of the fungus to areas of damaged bark on healthy trees. Once infected, an oak tree becomes a vector, transferring the fungus underground through roots that are naturally fused or grafted with neighboring trees. Every year, it seems to pop up in more and more places. We want to keep from injuring oak trees during the growing season from May through August. That's the critical thing to preventing and slowing the spread of oak wilt. What it looks like is not like a browning of a leaf like it happens in the fall, but more of a very bronze and shiny, has a very distinct look to it. By the time we notice oak wilt, we, there's nothing we can do for that tree and or we presume or surrounding trees, we presume that it's already grafted. We monitor for, for oak wilt annually. Once we identify all the, all the problem areas, then we'll go down and we'll ground truth those. The staff over the years has, has become pretty much experts on identifying when they see oak wilt. Metro Parks Toledo staff established a plan for isolating infected oak trees during the dormant season when trees stop growing to conserve energy through the winter. To prevent a potential outbreak among the surrounding healthy oak forest, disrupting the root systems is key. From the infected tree, staff draw a 100-foot band, creating a wagon wheel shape where they drive large plows in between the healthy trees and the known infected tree. This severs any potential root grafting that could transmit the fungal infection. We're able to do that in the metro parks. We have large oak woodland areas where we have oak wilt. You know, in urban areas, it's really hard to talk people into doing that. It's their nice, beautiful oak tree on their property, so you can see the, the, the problem. So once it spreads to that tree, and then, of course, throughout the neighborhood, which then provides that overland spread into healthy populations. The impact that private landowners can have by not managing an oak wilt outbreak can be widespread. For private landowners, there are several recommended methods for preventing an outbreak. Firstly, avoid wounding any oaks during the growing season. Secondly, for valuable trees, hire an arborist to inject the oak annually with a fungicide. Finally, cut down infected trees. We actually have a good chance of disrupting the spread of oak wilt if people are very cognizant of how it's spread and take efforts to make sure that it doesn't spread. We have a, a unique situation in Lucas County that other regions don't have. This complexity of, of oak openings meeting the Lake Plain. It's just important to me to keep this for future generations for an area people can go and see what natural communities should look like and, and, how, and how they function.